The IndexedDB 2.0 standard is now fully supported in Chrome and features new schema management, bulk action methods, and more standardized handling of failures. Progressive web apps become more immersive with display full screen, allow top navigation by user activation, give sandbox iframes new powers, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 58. The structure of your site's database has large performance impacts and can be difficult to change. IndexedDB 2.0 changes that. Updates, object stores, and indexes can now be renamed in place after refactoring. Binary keys allow for more natural keys without worrying about performance penalties. Data retrieval is easier with get key, open key cursor, and continue primary key methods. And bulk recovery of entire data sets no longer needs a cursor with get all and get all key. When progressive web apps are launched from the Android home screen, they launch in a standalone app-like mode that hides the Omnibox. This helps create an engaging user experience and frees up screen space for content. However, for even more immersive experiences like games, video players, and other rich content, mobile UI elements such as the system bar can still be a distraction and take up valuable pixels that you may want. Now, you can make your progressive web app feel more immersive by setting display full screen in your web app manifest. When your app is launched from the home screen, all non-app mobile UI elements will be hidden. Chrome 58 now supports the new iframe sandbox keyword, allow top navigation by user activation. When triggered by a user interaction, this keyword gives sandboxed iframes the ability to navigate the top level page while still blocking auto redirects. And of course, there's plenty more. Say goodbye to the clear fix hack Instead of manually resetting multiple layout properties like float and clear, you can now add a new block formatting context using display flow root. Pointer events .get coalesced events allows you to access all input events since the last time a pointer event was delivered. Perfect for when you need a precise history of points for things like drawing apps and workers and shared workers can be created using data URLs, making development with workers more secure by giving them an opaque origin. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 58 for developers. Check the description for more details, including links to the docs and specs. If you enjoyed this video, check out the new Designer vs. Developer video series that tries to solve the challenges faced when designers and developers work together. Then, click the subscribe button, and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 59 is released, we'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.